Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. This time we're going to cover how to make your custom projectile, projectile weapons or first person shooter weapons or third person shooter weapons. Uh, basically what I'm going to create is a marine that shoots a missile, like the Marauder missile, but we're going to customize it so it's an own missile, we can add our own special effects to it. And generally you can do a lot of cool stuff with this. We're going to do two methods. We're going to do one with triggers and one with using patrol. Uh, both have their advantages and disadvantages. So let's just get started. I have created a new map here. And the first thing I'm going to do is just add a spawn point. Oh, it's loud, but we'll live with that. And then I'm going to add some units to the hostile player, player 15, because we're going to need that later. So I'm going to add some eggs. Just add some over there. And then some probes, just for testing, so we have something to, sh to shoot at. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my own project that I'm working on here. Um, I'm going to steal these triggers. This will be released. I don't know when. It's a project I'm working on to create easy to set up WSAD movement and easy to set up camera movement. So now we're back in the trigger editor for our new map. I'm just going to delete everything here. Actually, I'm just going to delete this trigger completely. And I'm going to paste what I copied from another map. And what this is going to do is basically here I've set up to create one marine at the point. It will register movement for it with my movement uh, thing here. It will register a camera. Uh, I'm still working on the camera so it doesn't look very good but it's going to be a camera. That's not part of the tutorial, this movement camera and movement. You can check my movement tutorial on livestream uh, livestream.com slash bider like so. There you will find a Galaxy Editor tutorial uh, folder and you can find a WSAD movement tutorial. Uh, later on I'll release this archive. Anyway, for now, just trust me, we will have a marine and uh, it will be able to move with WSAD. So what I want to do is I'm going to add a new trigger and I'm going to call it shoot and in the event I'm going to add a mouse event mouse clicked and in player clicks mouse down that's fine. Uh, I'm going to add a new action definition. These are lovely things, action definitions. Shoot projectile and move, like so. Here I'm going to click create thread. You will see why in a minute, uh, or I can explain it now. Basically I will make each projectile its own thread. When you click create thread here, um, when this action is run, the trigger that runs it won't st stay along around and wait for it to finish. It will just run it and then move on. So basically each missile will spawn one instance of this this uh, projectile, shoot projectile move action that I'm defining now. Parameter, I'm going to have a uh, firing unit, which is obviously going to be a unit. It's going to be my unit that fires whatever. And I am going to have a uh, triggering player, which is going to be the player that does that fires this. It's going to be an integer. And sadly, I can't scroll down there, so I just have to drag this up. I'm going to set maximum value to 15 and minimum to zero because if you look in our player properties, you will see that we have players from 0 to 15. So you don't get anything higher in here. Alright, then we'll go back to shoot. We'll add the new action. All our custom actions can be found here in general. You'll see some of my movement actions are here, and then this shoot projectile move. Firing unit, uh, I'm going to have to set up. So on here, I'm going to add a new variable player units 
and it's going to be a unit and an array with a size of 15, one for each player. So I'm setting this up in theory to work in multiplayer, but for my test, I'm just going to make it work single player. So I'm going to set variable, my player units, index 1. I could have done a loop through all the players here, but I'm not going to do it. Uh, last created unit. So then player units 1, as in for player 1, will be this marine that I'm creating here. So in shoot, we're going to take firing unit, take a variable, player units, index, triggering player, that will be the player that clicks the mouse button. So here, this in my case, it will be player 1, and then it will take the one in the position one. This is how you set up multiplayer stuff in general. You'll want to use arrays with 15 in length or how many players you plan on supporting. I usually just make them 15 so I don't have to change it if I want to increase my map size. And then you use this triggering player or player number to refer to whatever position in the array that you want. And here I'm going to take triggering player. Now I could have the juice, the owner of the player of the unit here inside the function by just checking who owns the unit, but I'll do it this way, it's a bit lazier. Here I'm going to need unit position, which is going to be a point, point, and the default value is going to be the position of the unit. Position of unit, not triggering unit, but parameter here, firing unit. All right. I'm also going to need a um, fire angle, which is going to be the angle that our projectile is going to be fired in. Once again, th uh, this is going to be a reel. And I'm sorry, I forgot to close my Mozilla Thunderbird, so we got a beep there. And here, sorry I didn't pull this all the way in on screen. My screen is a bit larger than what you can see, and I'll try to keep it every dialogue in the middle from now on. Anyway, so we're going to take the facing of the unit, not the triggering unit, but once again the parameter firing unit. So then we have the positioning of the firing unit and what angle it is facing, so that we know which direction we should send our missile. So our actions is going to be create unit facing angle. We're going to create one. I like to use the bane link, one bane link for player and parameter triggering player point uh, variable here unit position angle once again variable firing angle and no flags then we're gonna attach a region to this um, unit that we're gonna use for collision detection so then we need a temp region this we're gonna make a region and here, convert circle to region. Um, there, we're going to use the position of our unit as the default for where it's going to spawn. And radius 0 0.5. This is a setting that you will have to tweak yourself, depending on how big your missile is and so on. You will have to adjust this uh, region to make sure your collision detection is all right and so on. There's a lot of tweaking involved here. But I'll just show you the basics to make it work, basically. And um, here, then we have our region. We have to attach our region to the bane link. So uh, region, here you'll find attach region to unit. So we're going to take our temp region and attach it to the last created unit, which was the bane link, and no offset. We're just going to leave the offset zero, 00 here. That's fine. Um, now I'm going to do one thing This I found in my testing uh, when I prepared for this tutorial. You would have found it out yourself as well. If you just create the unit as it is now and we're later going to change it to look like a missile, we need to change the height of the unit as in how far above the ground it is. Else it will just look like it's running through the ground or it will look stupid and so on. So this is just something I found with testing. So the height is going to be uh, 0 0.75. This is how 
high above the ground the unit's going to, the missile's going to be. Once again, a setting you will tweak a lot to get it to look right so it comes out of your marine or whatever unit you use at the right spot. 